Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is some old footage I had of my turbo build, A series 1293. Uh, so here we have the block. So there was a lot of wear in the bores, so we decided to go down the route of putting in liners. Um, they've done a really good job, you can't actually see the liners. So after the liners were installed, it was bored to 1293 because I already had the Amiga pistons, so we decided to go with those and we've just put new rings on. So I also dry decked the block. Uh, you can see where I'm pointing. Uh, so I put these plugs in before the uh, block was, uh, the surface was machined. So you can clearly see here, this is the new set of rings going on the pistons. So I put these all in first and measure all the end gaps just to see where, where it all sits. Um, and then I go through them all again kind of thing and um, adjust them. So here's a, a tool I made to basically file the ends of the rings rather than use a hand file. Uh, it works really well. Um, it, just literally you spin the handle, um, place the ring on there on those stops um, and spin the handle and it just takes a real small amount off at a time. So it's basically an old grinder disc that I've I've mounted in there. And uh, as I say, it just it, it's really good because it doesn't take, it's not too aggressive. So this is me placing the brand new um, bear, uh, mains bearings into the block. You must make sure that everything is absolutely spotlessly clean, especially behind the bearing before you place it into the block. So here I am oiling up the bearings in preparation ready for the crank uh, to be placed into the block. So that's the crank shaft now placed into the block. Uh, you can see the fit there, the, the high polished finish uh, that's on this crank shaft. So it's also been wedged, which I did on a, with a fly cutter on a milling machine. So it was then dynamically balanced with the pulley and then the flywheel. So the, the whole rotating assembly it's been dynamically balanced. So all the sizes of the mains and the big ends were checked on the crankshaft before it was installed. Uh, we also checked the mains and big ends with plastic gauge to make sure that we've had the right running clearance and everything was on within specification So these are the thrust, wa thrust washers, and as you can see on the back, there's all numbers stamped on there. If you look really carefully, you can actually see that they're 
a little slightly pronounced. So good practice is just to get a really uh, fine file and just file the back of those off before you install them and then you'll get a true reading for your end flow on the crank. So um, um, another good tip as well, just make all your bearing shells, just make sure they're really really clean on the back and all your main bearing caps as well, make sure they're absolutely spotlessly clean before you put these shells in. So using quite a decent uh, shell, bearing shell in there. So the uh, the one I've gone for, if I can find the packet, is down here. So these are the uh, race quality um, ACL, I think they're ACL, yeah, ACL bearings. So this is me checking the end float on the crank. You can see there, um, I've set up the micrometer on the end of a magnetic base. Um, and you can see there, I've got about uh, 0.07 um, end float on, which is in metric, uh, which um, if you convert it over, it's, it's just under free foul uh, in Imperial. So here I am putting the pistons into the block uh, and the con rods are all bolted together with ARP fasteners. So all the rods were end to end balanced and all the pistons were weighed as well so they're all basically within about half a gram okay the turbo build coming along nicely now I had to install a brand new oil pump because the old one was quite badly scored um, it was intolerance, but it was badly scored and it felt really notchy. I just wasn't happy with it at all. And okay, so we come around to the other side of the engine. We've now installed the cam, and I've put in a, a Kent cam. Not not a wild cam because it's a turbo. You don't want a wild cam in a turbo. So it's a, I think it's a KC uh, 500 cam. It's gone in there. Uh, timed in at 110 degrees. So. Uh, Anyway, you can see there, it's on TDC at the moment, and made a little pointer here. And uh, Mini Mania is a place to go if you want to see how to set up your cam. It's uh, a really good description and video on exactly how to do it. So uh, that's the way to go. I've uh, got my cat there in the background, <laughs> meowing his head off. He's quite interested in, in the engine as well. Um, the other thing I've done is, is uh, I've put a tension on it you don't always have to do this um, but I felt that my chain was a little bit slack I wasn't happy with it so uh, I just bolted on the, uh, on the tensioner there as you can see so uh, anyway I've made this little out of the old pulley bolt as well so I just uh, drilled and tapped that and uh, screwed that on there so we can use that in the future for all our A series engines bang on just started working on the head now on the uh, on the turbo build. Um, the head was refaced, so we've got a nice clean square flat surface to go back down onto the block. Um, started measuring uh, all the seats for for the uh, valve springs, and they were way adrift. Uh, the closest one was twenty foul, and one of them was over forty foul difference. So I made a little tool uh, for the mini machine with uh, tungsten tips on it and uh, recut the seats. Uh, I've got them all within two foul now, so that's a, a really good start. So what I'll do next is uh, drop the, this, this head was actually rebuilt uh, some years ago and has done very little K since it was rebuilt. So. I'm hoping when I drop all the valves in that they're all going to sit um, the same distance from the face of the head 
all the way through. Uh, hopefully, it won't have to go back to the machine shop and uh, adjust the valves to sit in, in the head because you really want your valves all the same height and all your springs sitting all the same height as well in the head. If you can get that right, you'll get a more even running engine. If you uh, have a look at some of the MED videos on YouTube, they'll explain in more detail um, why you need to do this. Anyway, it's it's coming on. Quite pleased with it. So uh, not far away now. Get this engine all finished. Now going on to my turbo lamp, um, nice set of push red rods that I bought from uh, MED, really nice quality, uh, replaces the uh, the old style which tend to uh, can bend, um, I have got uh, double springs uh, in this one as standard, although they're not too aggressive but you do find that with some of the really aggressive springs they, they can bend uh, the push rods, I've had that in the past. Um, and also a nice set of uh, roller rockers going in which are uh, the ratio is uh, 1.3 to 1 